What was that? There's a scary noise coming from inside the tavern. What is that? Ah! Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to Empires, where we have a situation. In fact, we have two situations. Number one, the amethyst is missing. Number two, there is definitely something scary happening in the tavern. It's coming from outside. Is this what I think it is? Ah! That did not go according to plan. I'm gonna need, ah! I'm gonna need a new plan. A safer plan. It's time to call for backup. Children of the forest, I call for your aid. Join me to defend Critter City in the fight against the warden. We're gonna need all paws on deck for this fight. Okay, Alpha Squadron, the time is upon us. Some of you may die. In fact, all of us might die. But if we defeat the Warden, glory awaits us. A Warden head for me and lots of belly rubs for you. So, Alpha Team, roll out. Let me boop all your butts to get you into motion. Okay, it's time. Let's go, let's take on the Warden. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I hit it! Oh my gosh! Get in there! Attack! Go! Oh! Okay, what, what, what? No, you guys, you guys are useless. You're supposed to be helping! My stuff! Yes, get in there! Attack, attack! Yes! Kill it! <gasps> wait! Wait, you actually did it! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm so proud of you! I for sure thought way more of you would die! Okay, well, I promised you all belly rubs, and belly rubs you will get. Just watch as the citizens of Critter City accept you into their homes and adopt you as their own. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of dogs. Okay, that is way too many dogs. What have I done? And now we can put this warden head up in my collection. Mm, right here. Ta-da! One warden head. All thanks to the power of animals working together. And that's what Critter City is all about. Thank you, Flip, for delivering me the warden head in a gift wrap box. He must have known it was just what I wanted for my collection. And for that, I am eternally grateful. There is, however, still one issue. The jewel of my empire. The amethyst cluster in the center of the city is mysteriously missing. Where did it go? I don't know. It seems we have a good old fashioned mystery to solve. So I wandered off to look for clues. But then the culprits returned to the scene of the crime. All right, now Darkness where did falls. you take those from? Um, it's just <gasps> somewhere over here. Mm. It looks like. Listen, it she right probably here. didn't even realize. Okay, well, if she didn't know, then put it back before she finds out. Okay, fine. <gasps> but we could also make her trade for diamonds that you wanted. No, 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 no. You have to put it back. <sighs> Everything goes but back. She, she no, it doesn't realize. No, ands, ifs, or buts. <sighs> Do it. Come on, I feel like we could definitely get some diamonds out of her. No! Don't. Excuse me! Fine. What's going oh. on here? Hi, Lizzie. Um, Joey stole well, your stuff. Well, you the are the culprit. You stole your stuff, and I'm making him put it back. And yeah. we will return these amethysts for 500 diamonds. No, 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 no. You put it A back. A million back. diamonds. No. Joey, you're dreaming if you think I have even three diamonds. Oh, I have his amethyst and you took it all from me. Why? Uh, for her. For my, my one true love. No. I thought she'd like it. Or it's her favorite color. Hey, she doesn't do like amethyst, any, so that's why I'm uh, returning cloth it. Cloth or fabric. Something I could use to cover his mouth. Uh, no. Put it back where it belongs and never take my amethyst again. Be gone, both of you. Before we leave, Joey, do you have something to say? I love you. No, not to me. <laughs> oh, 
I'm so sorry that you left your amethyst out here in the open for you someone to did steal. You understand that you did something wrong. Goodbye, Joey. Okay. Just Come on, Joey. She has a really big head. No, it's normal size. Oh, you've heard that? She must have really big ears with that big head. No, it's just normal. Normal ears. Normal hearing. Normal size head. Normal everything. Well, well, well. It seems the mystery of the missing amethyst has solved itself. And criticity has been restored to its former glory. Just in time for me to cast darkness upon the city. With the dark art of necromancy. Yes, some of the villagers around here are little scam artists. 14 raw chicken for just one measly emerald? I don't think so, sir. I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. I'm going to unleash zombies upon my own empire for the greater good. Then I'll kill them, of course, obviously, to get the good trades. All I need is a bunch of potions and some golden apples. Let the necromancy begin. Ah, perfect, a thunderstorm. The perfect weather for villainous activities. Now all I have to do is find a zombie. And, oh, one has presented itself to me immediately. Come on inside, zombie. Oh no, okay, that is a disaster. Wait, no! Oh, you. <laughs> Thank you so much for saving the city from the threat of the zombie. But I'm afraid that's not what I wanted. No! Okay, this has backfired. Big time. Stop! Oh, jeez. Okay. Ah! Oh no. What was that? Aha! Let's pretend I did not just die. And everything's fine. This is fine. We just need a zombie. Aha! Perfect. A tiny little baby zombie. Come on in. Follow me. Come on inside. Follow me. Ah! Kill the villager, not me. Kill it. Aha! It is working. Now we just kill this. Oh, jeez! Oh, no! No! No, 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 no! I need you to... Oh, no! Bad things, bad things have happened. Things have gone horribly wrong. It's put on my armor! I heard it. Oh, no! No, that's mine! Okay, let's pretend that everything went according to plan. And now all I have to do is restore my villager back to life with the ancient art of necromancy. Ta-da! Now, some might say that that went terribly wrong, but I think that actually went rather well. Now we just need to cure... Ow! Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh my gosh. I have unleashed something terrible upon the city. This is all my fault. Kill it, Dying Golem! Kill it! I was warned about the dark arts of necromancy, but this is more cursed than I ever could have expected. Hopefully, it will be worth it when this chap is cured. One eternity later. Yes! He's cured! And his trades are so much better now. But they could be even better. Time to do it all over again. So I found another zombie and lured it back to Stu's butcher shop. I waited outside while he did the deed. And then I went to the community center to get more potions. But while I was there, I heard a noise in the attic, so I went to investigate. And this is where things all went wrong. Again. What? Oh my god, they spawned up there. Oh no! Oh my gosh, what have I done? Oh my gosh! Let's pretend I did not just do that, and I will go on my merry way curing my villagers. <laughs> ah. Much better. A one-for-one -one trade on raw chicken. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> now you may be released. To carry on your good work. No more scamming people, okay? Now let's go right next door to the berry shop and sort out this guy. Twelve seconds later.
Ah, much better. One berry for one emerald. I am going to be rich. So rich. Now look what we have here. Riches for Critter City. And with all these emeralds, I can buy... Uh, chicken. Lots and lots of chicken. But what did it cost? These bony monstrosities have taken over Amethyst Alley. And there's something festering in my attic. But I'm just going to ignore it for now, and it will probably go away on its own. So that's the end of this episode of Empires. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like, and I will see you next time.